So we're here at our CMO of the Year Awards mm -hmm. and I'm joined by Matthias Harner from Telecom Romania. Matthias, good to see you. Good now, you. one of the things we talked about in your nomination was the rebranding exercise that you did, particularly two different brands, Cosmote and Roman Telecom. Tell us about some of the really big challenges that you faced with that rebrand. Well, Mark, I think the uh, rebranding in, uh, in Romania was one of the biggest uh, rebrandings of Deutsche Telekom in Southeastern Europe. And we are talking about the rebranding of two different companies. And we pulled this off actually in a very short time. So this was clearly one of the biggest challenge to rebrand the entire company, to rebrand uh, uh, 43 flagship stores, uh, to rebrand all the partner stores, kiosks. And of course, not only that, also to integrate the shop experience and also the integrated call center. So if you know how to do that in a very short time, you, you see that this is a very clear and strong challenge in the market. I think a little bit uh, taking a more long, longer term perspective, one thing is of course to exchange the brand, right? And to exchange the CICD, to do all the things which we have done. But I think the, the more important thing is actually to create a new and fully transformed brand experience that the, supports the brand promise. And that is not done in a day. Gotcha. Basically, you thoroughly need to transform the customer experience across all the touch points uh, in your sales channels, in the call center, and of course also the product experience. So that's why we said, okay, we want to do a full rebranding, not only uh, based on the color and the logo, yeah. but really to transform the customer experience yeah. at all the touch points. So a, ma a massive job, and, and you mentioned customer experience there, and I think one of the other things mm -hmm. that the judges picked up on mm -hmm. was that you introduced a, a customer experience governance structure. What, what can you tell us about that? Well, customer experience is clearly something which uh, is not just a nice to have anymore. We really believe that customer experience is uh, a critical success factor for the company and also a possibility to differentiate. And of course, it's extremely relevant in telco markets that are becoming extremely increasingly commoditized. So uh, customer experience for us was something where we clearly want to innovate and differentiate. And the new governance structure was a way to put it top of the agenda uh, of the commercial agenda, let's say. So what we do with that is basically as part of the product, for example, the product development process, we make sure that at each stage gate, the customer experience actually becomes a topic and needs to be approved. And by that, of course, uh, process by process and product by product, we improve the product experience, of course, with a target to develop a compelling branded customer experience for the customer. So across all the touch points, effectively. Now, the other key area of customer experience is obviously the customer themselves and understanding them better. I know that you kind of been doing a lot of stuff with analytics in trying to help you guys understand uh, the customers, as we said, a, a, a lot better. What can you tell us about, again, the, some of the key learnings that you've got from, from doing that? I think the uh, integrating customer experience based on analytics is really a big challenge for a telco, to be honest, because a telco has a lot of valuable data spread around the whole organization in different silos, in the network, in customer care, uh, at the point of sales, and of course in your billing systems. Now, the challenge really is to, to, to develop a, a real-time analytic system which we have done to better manage, for example, our prepaid customer base. And uh, that actually uh, was very important for us because uh, it actually makes us, puts us into a position to make relevant offers to the customer, to put context to the customer and to make the relevant offer at the right time. So this is where we fully implemented a real-time uh, uh, real-time analytics and campaign management and we are very happy with that and of course the next step is also to expand that as I said you know the telco operator is sitting on a huge pile of data uh, which uh, other industries will probably be very envious about and uh, the I think uh, the challenge for the telco industry and for us and we're working on it will be to bring together this important data uh, as a, a, a total analytics piece. Okay. Now, one of the other really sort of key areas is the convergence play. Um, Deutsche Telekom at, across the whole entire group has been introducing this Magenta One mm -hmm. product. Um, tell us about how important that has been to both retaining existing customers and acquiring new customers for, for you in Romania. 
Extremely important. Um, the, uh, I would say that FMC or Magenta One for us is really a strategic flagship product uh, which helps us to become the leading integrated operator, which is our strategy. And uh, we are actually the second country within Deutsche Telekom Europe footprint to launch Magenta One. So for us, it's, it's a very important uh, project and uh, we really wanted to get it right, which is why I would say, I mean, I, I would say proudly actually that we implemented a textbook type uh, integrated offer, FMC offer, on a, a single contract with a single bill, integrated customer care and with the best TV experience. So how important was that for us? Uh, definitely it's the key sales driver. I mean, we, we achieved more than uh, 170,000 customers uh, with uh, uh, half of that more than uh, three, uh, three, uh, three services mm -hmm. in a very short time, in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And uh, the dynamics is very strong. Uh, of course, it's very important to retain customers because once a customer has a satisfactory, good experience with an integrated offer, he will stay with you for life. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is also a bit my theory about um, convergence in markets particularly in Romania, but I, I see the same trend everywhere else in the world, markets will move very, very fast towards convergence. And the operators who are fast and to take the window of opportunity to launch FMC fast and to uh, acquire the customer base, keep them, manage them well, they will succeed in the end. So, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.